Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be going over what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. The car sitting behind me is the Declassy Scramjet and it is available this week in Grand Theft Auto Online at a discount of 30% off. So if you guys are interested in getting a Scramjet, it is 30% off this week. It is pretty cool. It does have a jump function as well as a rocket boost. It has front mounted machine guns and missiles. So it is a pretty neat vehicle. But before we talk any more about that, we have to talk about how to earn some money this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, and boy do we have some good ways this week. Starting off, we have triple money on your nightclub daily safe income. So instead of it being worth $50,000 every 48 minutes of real time, this week it is worth $150,000 every 48 minutes of real time for one bar of popularity, or sorry, one tick of a bar of popularity. So one fourth of one bar, crazy. So. Make sure you guys are taking care of that this week. Also, you're gonna get double popularity on nightclub management missions. Those are the ones where you have to deliver a VIP to their home or kick out a troublemaker. We also have double money and double RP on nightclub sale missions this week with the nightclub basement. So those are gonna be earning a ton of money this week as well. If you can't tell, this week is to do with the nightclub. Uh, we got some pretty awesome bonuses going on. Now, just on the off chance that anyone cares, we also do have Trading Places Remix on Double Money and Double RP under the Adversary Mode section here. And as with the theme of the last few weeks, we also have Arena War on Double Arena Points, Double RP, and Double Money. So if you haven't tried Arena War, you, you could do that this week. However, I would try to spend all of your time in free mode so that you can collect all that money that your nightclub is going to be making you. Uh, the nightclub bonuses this week are absolutely nuts and I'm going to be taking full advantage of this. I might be leaving my Xbox and PC on 24 seven to just make as much money as I possibly can because this is gonna be insane. Uh, so make sure you guys are taking advantage of the nightclub this week, uh, especially. Um, if you guys don't have a nightclub, luckily they are on discount this week as well. So we're gonna get into our discounts. Under money and services, under foreclosures, you will find that nightclubs are all discounted by 40% off as well as all renovations and upgrades. So you can make your nightclub look however you want to for 40% less than it would usually cost. And you can also increase all of your storage levels, which you should do by the way. And you can get all of your garage slots as well if you care about that sort of thing. I personally don't really care right now. I mean, I already have mine, so I can't do anything about it, but make sure you get the extra floors for your storage. That's gonna allow your nightclub basement to earn way more money and you won't have to do sale missions as often. So upgrade this as far as you possibly can. I'd recommend doing it all the way, but if you can't do that, then you know upgrade it as far as you possibly can. You'll make the money back this week so long as you just play the game. So that's absolutely awesome. Um, as far as nightclub locations, I personally, think that my location that I have, which is the Mission Row nightclub, is the best nightclub location. Um, it is surrounded by really tall buildings, so it's extremely hard for jets and oppressors and stuff like that uh, to get a shot on you once you just enter through this alleyway right here. So that is really nice. Um, there are a lot of people that say that the ones up in Vinewood are the best ones. Uh, there's also people that say the ones by Del Perro and uh, the Vespucci Canals are the best. Um, I would have I would avoid anything um, down here like the plague, like the the Elysian Island nightclub, the LSIA, Cypress Flats nightclub. All of those ones are trash. Uh, the Strawberry Nightclub is like okay, but it's right on the main road, which I don't really love. Um, the La Mesa Nightclub is okay as well, but yeah, I would definitely recommend Mission Row um, more so than any of them. I've always had Mission Row and I have yet to find a reason to change. So that's my recommendation. Do what you will though. Next up, we have to go to Legendary Motorsport. Under the two-door section, if we scroll quite far down here, we will find that the Pegasi Tesseract is on discount this week. Now, I am personally a Pegasi Tesseract hater because this thing handles absolutely terribly. It handles like McDonald's trays or underneath the rear wheels. Uh, whenever you go into a corner accelerating, to any degree, it will spin out. It's not a very good car. It doesn't have that much customization. Um, people who love the Tesseract, I like to call them Tesseract tards, they will try to tell you that it's so good for racing because catch-up doesn't apply to it in races, which is true, but that doesn't really matter if you can't go around a corner. So the Tesseract really sucks. I would heavily advise you to not pick it up this week unless you're absolutely balling out of control. For anyone who's on any sort of a budget though, please do not pick up a Tesseract this week. You will 
not want to do that. You will regret it. Please don't buy it. Next up on Warstock Cash and Carry, we have a few discounts here. Starting off with the Terabyte. The Terabyte is 40% off this week. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you guys this because I already have a Terabyte. Um, so yeah, I, I can't really show you that. It's just the Terabyte though. It's none of the upgrades for it. Uh, so it is 40% off. So if you guys are interested, you could pick it up. It is where you upgrade the Mark II Oppressor. Uh, so if you want to do that, you're going to need a Terabyte. So if you have any plans of getting a Mark II at any point, you should probably buy a Terabyte while it's on sale. And scrolling a little bit further down on Warstock Cash and Carry, we'll find that the HVY Menacer is on discount this week, as well as the Declassy Scramjet. The Menacer is a pretty good military vehicle. It's pretty heavily armored. I would overall recommend picking up a Menacer, and I do have a review and customization coming out later in the week. Same with the Scramjet. Um, for $2.8 million, that is a very hefty discount. I would say it is pretty worth picking up this week. It's definitely a very fun car for free mode. Um, I would advise you to get it if you have the money for it, but if you are kind of struggling for money, I'd say get the Menacer first. It's going to be more useful to you generally, I would say. Uh, the Scramjet is pretty good though, nonetheless. And heading down to Southern San Andreas Super Autos and scrolling a little bit down, we will find that the Declassy Impaler is discounted this week by 40% off, which is pretty good. Under the luxury section on Southern San Andreas Super Autos, you'll find that the festival bus is discounted this week by 50%. I would not recommend picking this thing up in any way, shape or form. Please don't, as a matter of fact. And we have a few more discounts to go over in a little bit, but first of all, let's go to the casino and then the LS car meet. Within the Diamond Casino, the Schlagen GT is your podium vehicle. Absolutely try to win this every single day. The Schlagen GT is one of the best cars in Grand Theft Auto Online, in my opinion. I love this thing. Super realistic looking, a lot of customization. You can't go wrong with winning it. Within the LS Car Meet, the prize ride for the week is... Of course, the Pegasi Infernus, and in order to win this, you're going to have to place top four for two days in a row, which is a really easy challenge in LS Car Meet Series races. Absolutely try to win the Infernus. It is a removed vehicle. It is worth trying to get, for sure. Now, within the LS Car Meet, we do have a few vehicles available to be bought. We have the Grotti Brioso 300 right here, as you can see. We also have the Grotti Vision right here, as you can see as well, and the Vapid GB200. Now, I can't remember if the GB200 is removed or not and same with the Brioso I know the Vision is available but two of those cars may be removed vehicles so check the websites if you are planning on buying them first but I do believe that both are removed and heading over to Simeon's dealership we have the Lampadaddy Viserys available to be bought this week if you guys are interested in it it is a removed vehicle and it does go for eight hundred and seventy five thousand dollars now over here we also have the Declassy Tulip available to be purchased this is another removed vehicle the Declassy Lifeguard is also available right here, as you guys can see, as well as the Weenie Issy Sport, which is another removed vehicle, and it is actually a very fast sports car. And of course, we have the Ubermacht Zion Classic. So if you guys are interested in any of these vehicles, they are all available. And at the Luxury Autos dealership, we have the Scramjet and the Pegasi Tesseract, both available to be purchased here. And last but not least, we have to talk about the time trials for today. Your RC Bandito time trial for the day is Construction Site 1. Your Junk Energy time Time trial is sewer system today. Regular time trial is Vinewood Bowl for the week. And your HSW time trial is going to be right here. It is Textile City. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.